What's up everyone? One more day here with another episode of the show Rig on Fire. Today we're gonna take a look at this monster here, the Garden of the Wurm. Wurm. I don't know how to say that. It's a German name, I think. Or not. I don't know. <laughs> This is the young brother from this pedal here. I already showed this pedal on the show. Um, I showed this pedal on the show. I show it. Show my English still sucks. I don't know. It's not my first language. Uh, this guy here is the the worm. Is th this is the guardian of the worm? Worm is here. This is the guardian. It's a nice gate. Gate guardian. Guardian of the gate. Whatever. This is HM2 style pedal with lots of features and awesome features. First of all, they put everything they have inside the pedal out. Like on this pedal, you have lots of trim pots. Uh, those trim pots for each frequency, it's here out of the pedal. Here, it's inside the pedal. Okay, and you're going to have the HM2 style and the HM2 by K and A. And both mixed. You're going to have the gain, Master volume, uh, asymmetrical clipping, symmetrical clipping, and off. This has changed lots of the character of this distortion here. And you're going to have these nuts. You're going to have these faders here. Here it's going to have the lows, it's going to be the bass. And you can set the bass between 60 up to 150 hertz. And here you're going to have the mid lows and you can set this fader for acting between 300 up to 1.5 kilohertz, 1.05 kilohertz. And here it's gonna be between 850 hertz up to three kilohertz. And this little guy here, the highs is gonna be between 1.4 kilohertz up to five kilohertz, that's it. And you're going to have the blend knob. This is awesome because you can mix the parallel signal with your next pedal or your amplifier with the chainsaw death metal style. And it's super cool pedal. And you have a very nice stuff here because this noise gate um, works separately, like a standalone. And effects loop here you can place any kind of uh, pedal between the noise gate and the distortion. It's super cool and super useful. On this video, I'm going to show how to use this pedal in conjunction with another distortion. I'm going to use the series, this preamp. It's, it's crunchy sounds, not high gain metal. It's, there is two channels. I set the second channel just to have a crunch and mix with this pedal to get that chainsaw vibe. And to be fair with this comparison, I put the HM2, the real stuff, and I find that this sweet spot, because I think that I, I can bring the character of the chainsaw death metal style inside that distortion, but I can keep um, not too noisy and harsh. And I think this is the sweet spot. Uh, when you use, when everybody talking about use everything on 10, I think it's more for a clean channel amp. On, on that case, I prefer to use that way, right? And I try to replicate and do better stuff with this guy. Disclaimer, uh, the next video you're going to watch right now is, is going to be the, because I, I forgot to say, this is not my my biggest channel, my biggest channel in Portuguese because I'm from Brazil, but I live here in the United States. So, just to not shoot two different videos, I'm going to use the, um, the Portuguese version. And over my comments in Portuguese on the next video, I'm going to put my voice translated for English, okay? Sorry about that, but this is a lot of effort to keep those two channels running. Let's go, let's test the, the, those bad boys here. I'll be right back. This is my solar BOB with passive Duncan solar pickups and this is my clean sound. 
the series was set just for a crunch sound. But now I want to bring a little bit that chainsaw death metal vibe. The grit and the nastiness from the HM2 is here. But that for me is the sweet spot. More than this is gonna be too nasty. Well, I never tried the Garden of the Worm before. I'm going to try to replicate or do a better sound than the HM2. But before, let's listen to the pedal alone. Let's put the gang on max and everything at noon first. And let's try. <laughs> try the blame knob now doesn't bring too much clean sound on the front but it's enough let's try again but no clean sound mixed Now let's try this toggle switch here, which brings the KMA HM2 version. Scoop it beats. Both mixed. That's cool. HM2. Well, as you can see, it's super tweakable. Let's try as a boost into the series. Let's start with let's gain possible. Mm, should be nasty, but not that much. Maybe less volume. Comparing. Thank <laughs> you. 
No great for solos. I dig it. I, dig, I like it. Uh, I just tried this. I, this is my first time with this pedal, but I think we should we should get a better results. Could sound better than right now, maybe. But let's try more settings. This could be heavier. Now we are talking. Now is nasty, yes. I think I got a better sound than HM2. Uh, let's see, let's see. Just remind you, there is no blend knob on the HM2. That makes lots of difference. But let me know in the comments what your favorite tone. Oh my god, that was nasty. Both of pedals are badass, but you know, let me know in the comments what are your favorite. No blending? Thank you. 
I like that tone. Super tight. Almost forgot talking about the noise gate. It's super precise. You can make it more tight. Well, I hope you guys like this video. I'm going to put it, uh, the, the link, the key MA machines on the link below. I would like to thank them because they sent me this pedal as a gift because I really want this pedal and then save me um, the pedal for free. And because of that, I, I did this video and another video in Portuguese, of course, it's two videos. So if you're from Brazil, don't sweat it. There is a link for the same episode in Portuguese, okay? And I think that's it. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys like this awesome pedal. There is lots of nice features here and you know, it's an awesome tool for music production and everything on the bass it's awesome as well i'm going to do another video on the bass and i think that's it well i hope you guys like this video don't forget to subscribe thumbs up see you next time and i'll see you